Now this is going down as the weirdest weather of 2015. In a town where the sun doesn't rise for months, where that sun doesn't shine for many months, there are still spectacular sights to see in the sky. These dazzling photos from Trust Tiller from Norway shows colorful glowing phenomena known as polar stratospheric clouds. Here the sun is gone for now, but this beautiful view makes the winter in the dark months nice to be in, he says. Virtually all the clouds we see occur in the troposphere, the lowest layer of the atmosphere, extending up about 12 miles above the ground. Polar stratospheric clouds from the heights of at least 70,000 feet over double the altitude of commercial airlines fly. These clouds are visible only in higher latitudes in the northern and southern hemispheres. The lack of sunlight in the polar regions, mixed with extraordinary cold temperatures and the stratosphere, changes water vapor in the atmosphere to a super cold liquid or ice crystals. They are rare, he says, but also dangerous. They play an indirect role in the destruction of the stratospheric ozone. As it turns out, these clouds are the breeding grounds for chemical reactions that involve chemical compounds. Now they're saying they derive from CFCs, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of radiation that's in these clouds, especially in the Norway, the Northern Northern Hemisphere. So a lot of that radiation we know is up there. That's where a lot of it goes. Now they're saying it's releasing a chlorine gas that kills the ozone in the atmosphere. We know it's more than CFCs, guys climate change, they want to blame everything on CFC, they turn the other way when it comes to nuclear.